I got a record. How you guys doing? No fat day ten of ninety, and with you out. Well, yeah, day ten of ninety. With you out. With with you minutes into day eleven. So that's pretty good. Actually, I can definitely feel the urge just turning up now. About time. Begin with get tested in the next few days. I was telling myself earlier, in the next few days is gonna be the next few days is gonna be well. The next few days is gonna show if you got it in us. Uh, speaking of the next few days, um, I, I didn't see a video from from my guy Fitz Brown, so hopefully he didn't relapse because I I, I, didn't, I know it's Christmas time and you probably you got family and this and that, so you probably you probably can do the video then. I do a you can probably do a video yet, but um, hopefully you didn't wait. He he didn't relapse. But today, pretty much, I seen two movies. Um, we seen the um, the movie Concussion. Then I went back by myself later on to see the movie. Um, uh, Daddy song. That was a funny movie. It was a pretty good movie. Pretty good movie. I thought it was really funny. But that's what happened today. So um, it wasn't a day where I was just at the house all day. So Ur just came. Uh, Ur just pretty much just came within like the past within like the past thirty minutes. So. Well, yeah. So yeah, I mean, hey. But um, yeah. So we going It's time. It's put up or shut up time. It's put up or shut up time. And uh, let's go right to the comments because it was a lot. Uh, Tony, 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 one forty. Masturbation without point is pointless. Also, draining energy, and one thousand kilobytes of knowledge every for every drop of sperm. Uh, can, can you can you provide some link for that? That way, I, that way, when some whenever somebody tried to bang up no fap and all this, I can show them show them that show them that um that um the articles. Go ahead, and post that link in the, in, the, in um in the comments if you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy your comments. I enjoy your comments. Keep on commenting. Um, then a, a new commenter, uh, S E A N E K. Who knows? You might get a girlfriend after or during the, the ninety days. I heard from a few people that um, you get more attention from girls by doing no fab. Um, which is um, which is again, which is again. Well, if you're trying, to, if you're doing no fab strictly for girls, that's that that's you because everybody does it for a reason. But um. I mean, it it, def it definitely is an added benefit, but I don't think you should only be doing it. Only that you should only be doing it just to get a bunch, just to, just to get girls. You know, you should be doing it for yourself. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't put girls up on a pedestal and then make that just the only reason why you're doing no fat. But if that's why you. If that's the only reason why you're doing no fat, that's just that. I mean, that, that is your life. But um, I, I don't think anybody should just make that their number one goal to, to try to get girls. But um. Yeah, they're definitely true. We we never know. We never. Oh, by the way, speaking of girl girlfriends, when I went to see the mo the young movie, the um, the um, uh, that is um, the young the attractive young lady that worked at the concession stand wasn't there, unfortunately. Um, so I didn't get a chance to, to um to talk to a well to um pretty much ask for a number then, but um that just goes to show you that you that that just goes to show you that if you miss an opportunity you may not have it again so take it while you have it by the way Merry Christmas I'm actually sort of sad that Christmas the whole season is ending because now we got we got to go back to the top of the year this is my favorite time of the year of course well you guys didn't know that <laughs> at least I didn't think at least I, at least I don't think so <laughs> but um yeah we gotta wait next year again or 12 more months or 11 more months or whatever um pretty much the whole, the whole time from Black Friday on it's like the best time because well, for Halloween on, had the best time for me. I'm just a festive person, I guess. But yeah, we, who knows? You know, you may. I mean, it's, it's a no fat magic, is what I call it. You just start things just start positive things start happening. You know, not because of no fat, but because you know, you know, you, you got all this. You just feel churned up. You got all the energy inside you. You're spiritually aware, and the thing just start happening. You know. So who knows? Anybody, if you guys, if you guys, um, go ahead and talk. Have you guys felt like you've been getting, you know, more looks from girls? Have you guys felt? Have you guys met any girls while doing while on a pretty good no fab streak? If you have, tell your stories in the comment section, if you will, please. The empirical says whenever I sleep with my stomach, I feel blood rush to my penis. Um, yeah, I said I've said that many times. Whenever I sleep with my stomach, I, I feel especially, especially. Yeah, like um as I get to as I get to, I really should put my case back on this phone 
currently I have I have this case, this little pouch on the back of my phone that um I can like slip credit cards and like cards stuff into. So it's like really convenient. But like I already broke this phone screen like four times and I cannot I, I can't be dropping the that um eighty dollars just to get this cream place again. So I'm probably gonna go back to the case after this video because uh that's very this can't I can't I can't I can't drop that eighty dollars again, man. That just that'd be devastating. Um the screen's already getting beat up now. But um yes, apologize for that. But yeah, but but yeah, but around now I start, I started for the urges as well, you know. And you know not not the well yeah the urges, but um I fall asleep in my stomach it because it, it, it pretty much becomes a no no because it's like you're sleeping on top of a mountain. Then I know whenever I wake up after a long after after getting up, I'm like after coming back to after getting after reaching these amount of days, uh, after after reaching these amount of days, fa fa fantasizing, fantasize not fantasizing, but um after reaching this after reaching these amount of days, sleeping on, sleeping on my stomach only leads to me getting urges when I when I end up like waking up at the wrong time like waking up and then like uh like once i know i'm like i'm not sleeping again like once, once i know i'm not sleeping anymore sleeping anymore sleep anymore and i and i know i'm officially up that's when the urge just tick because like i'm up now so it's like what you gonna do now so then the um the, the urge just start to come so you know yeah we have omar Omar underscore B. Lots of guys believe that. Lots of guys believe that it's not healthy holding in your semen. Part of this is due to that when you stop busting nuts, it can get uncomfortable at first. Speaking of busting nuts, speaking of busting nuts, shout, shout, shout out to RMP Compassion for finally uploading a video after like two years of not uploading a video. Um, he does uh, no fat videos, by the way. Um, 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 pretty pretty funny video, angry video he uploaded. Y'all go check out his channel, on Peek and Pachi. Ken Pachi. <laughs> Abdominal ages, ball sack feeling full and tender, even, and even blue balls. Of course, not all guys get this and pass very quickly. Anyway, many guys think being full tank is not healthy, but your body sorts that out with wet dreams. You can't convince everyone. Just carry on with your journey and try not to, and try to fix to all negative feedback. You're doing great. That's definitely true, man. And that goes to everybody. Don't let um anybody who tries to tell you uh, um the negative about no fat. We can't listen to them because when the murders like right about now, when the murders start to head, you're gonna start you're gonna be, you're gonna start to listen to their voices. You're gonna start to believe what they're saying. Then when you relapse, you're gonna wish you didn't believe um listen to what they were saying. And then you gotta start back over again from the beginning. And no matter how much and no matter how true it is that you know. Day one starts a new journey, and you can you can finally get with your procrastination. This can't finally be the streak where you you go all the way. You still it's still you know relapsing off of something like that. You know after a friend telling you this, showing you porn, or doing this or that. Those those devastating relapses it take a, it takes a while to recover from. Trust me, I know. So don't 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 even listen. Don't listen to anybody if they don't if they're masturbating the porn because they think it's stupid not to. Please don't get away from them as quickly as possible, quickly as possible, because you will eventually get sucked into it. And then when the urges come, you're gonna start thinking about that over and over and over again. Like literally, like twenty minutes ago, about twenty twenty five minutes, twenty 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 five minutes ago, um, I was I was um, about it's about it's twelve fifty now. We're back dinner was probably like twelve what twelve twenty five twelve thirty. I was in um, I, I was in one of those moods that. I, it could have possibly been a, the urge could have came like like that, and I could have I was almost in one of those moods to where a relapse would have been inevitable. But um, I said F this. I'm let me go ahead and make this video real quick. So yeah, now the urge is completely gone, and um, yeah, to, or t tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to, to do my. Typically I work out um since the semester ended I work out I work out Monday through Friday on, on the weekends. I take. I think I'm just gonna take Saturdays off and then work out on Sundays because I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's pretty good for me to take two days off of not working. I think I'm just gonna take off um, Saturday or maybe Sunday, but or both. Who knows? But um, yeah, I'm going to um, yeah. I'm, actually, by the way, I, this is yeah. I see uh, this is how I can just go from different topics, probably because of my ADHD. But I record the Spurs and um, White Rockets game. It came on today while while um, we were watching the movie. The concussion movie, so um, I I hope um 
I hope that the um I hope that the I hope that um because my, my brother's watching ESPN in the, in the living room, so ho hopefully I don't hear who won that game. So I have it recorded, so I'm gonna wake up and like watch it. So um, <laughs> hopefully y'all don't spoil it for me either in the comments. I like to read comments early, so hopefully y'all don't spoil it for me. But um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was about um, relapsing stuff like that. But yeah, um, damn it, this, this is why I can't be getting off the track. But yeah, what, what, I, what I was saying was, um, let me let me try to go back to where I, to um where I was. Um, people, when people try to tell you when, when they try to get you off your no fab streak, oh you 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 just you just can't um you 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 just you just you you just can't listen to them because you know they can drag you down and um once you get in that mindset like oh okay now I'm trying to go back on a track to where I was at um like I said um. Once you get in that little that little zone, like I was almost in, to where you just feel like you have to fat, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be easy for you to fat because you know, you know. Of course, I mean, he, uh, so and so told me that fapping is is okay. So that mu it just it just must mean it must be a catch to it, you know. But just think of it like this: you get sent people, you know, to test you by whoever you believe in. Your God, your your spiritual being, your spirit angel, whatever, whatever you believe in spiritually, you get to send people, and um to test you, and you know, I don't care who they are to you. It's a test. Um, it, it may be a test. Um, they may come up to you showing you porn or whatever, whether you give into it or not. It, it's it's that's up to you. It's up to you, but it it is a test. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely have to figure out the, filter out the negative feedback. Um, you definitely have to. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> um, this is why that's why this is why I gotta focus on too. My getting sidetracked. I, I gotta focus on one point, one point at a time because I almost forgot. I knew I was forgetting something I was talking about. But yeah, I mentioned tomorrow I'm gonna wake up. Um, um, work, working out. I think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna take off two days because it feels weird. Like if I when I take off Saturday and Sunday and then come back Monday, because you can definitely. I'm sure worried about rest day, rest day, but I'm, I don't know about rest days. Um, I think because I, I, it's not like I just don't have intense workouts, so I just work out for <laughs> hours, and then I, just, I had to have like two, three days of uh, rest days, pretty much like maybe thirty to forty, twenty to forty minutes of um, weightlifting, uh, weightlifting, cardio, mixed, mixed in workouts. And now I have fifteen to twenty minute, uh, 20, fifteen to twenty minute, fifteen and um, twenty pound dumbbells. So um, I mean, I have a I have a small torso, so I'm trying to like you know, fill see these abs are still no but now. Honestly, honestly though, I don't have that much fat blocking my um abs. So if I if I literally just um, like um made uh made my diet stricter like not not stricter but like really strict for maybe like a month, uh, a month and a half, you know, I, I could possibly start to see some, like, some nice little six-packs, just, like, there, because I'm not, my metabolism is pretty quickly, this video just went off, and this video just, went, I'm gonna name this video, what well, I'm gonna name this video, I'm gonna name this video Roaming Thoughts, because I was literally just hopping off from the <laughs> subject, but, um, um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna take off Saturday, and um, then get back to it on Sunday, because I'm one of the things that's definitely helpful. Like I said, it's one of those things that I feel I'm getting comfortable with now. Like when you when you make when you come when you comfortable with something like if you comfortable with eating um junk food at twelve o'clock at night, you become really comfortable. I mean, I just you you become you, you become a you become adept in doing that and when you don't do it you feel weird for not doing it. So that's it's that is a bad habit, but good habits like that too, if you develop good habits, you um and you actually like enjoy doing it, and you look forward to doing it. You know, it's you become comfortable in doing those good habits, and it's better become it's, it's better become comfortable doing good habits and becoming comfortable doing bad habits. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna yeah I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna I guess do my rest day tomorrow. Still do my uh, morning routine, going to wake up. Um, um, probably wake up. This well, since, since since I'm doing my my little more, since I'm not working out, I'm probably uh, yeah I'm gonna wake up. Ten thirty. I'm going to try to meditate. I don't, I don't know. I can't because I can't be rumbling around. You know, just not doing anything because that's what relapses girl. I'm probably gonna wake up and 
Um, damn, I, don't, I, I do. I might have to go ahead and hit this workout then, cause I, I gotta fill that void in. Because if, if I wake up and I'm, I'm just roaming around, I'm trying to figure out what to do, do this or do that. That's when the urges come in. It's like they, that's when they love to attack you in the morning. So I might have to go ahead and just make this um, a workout, or I guess I'll figure it out. But um, at some point, I'm probably gonna go get um get some coffee, particularly probably a frappe. I know. I'm trying to figure those out, like my junk food. Um, my junk food eating, um, my metabolism is high, so it doesn't really settle on my stomach, but, um, I, I really have to cut that down, but, um, um, yeah, and then come back and get a haircut, I, have to, I work tomorrow too, which is the whole point of this, get a haircut, because I haven't had it, y'all see these sides, I, I haven't had a, a haircut in like three, almost, almost three months, something like that, so I need a haircut, you know, I need a haircut, y'all, <laughs> um, but yeah. Damn, they're, they're all stemmed off of one comment. <laughs> then my guy, Tony, 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 just another one of his comments. That friend, he, he had like three, so I think uh, he has one more comment, I think. That friend downplaying low fat is not being true. That's why I say, I say, um, well, I, I did I did know him since like middle school, so I mean, I mean, it's not like it's just a, a casual um person. Well, I knew him on and off since middle school. We were really cool in middle school, but then like, you know, I guess I didn't have a, I didn't have a license then, so... And I look, we live in the apartment complex, so I complex, just so I didn't get a chance to hang out with him a lot. So it was more like a, um, a casual, you know, acquaintance. But it's not like it's just a, like some evil dude. He has, he definitely has his own taste. <laughs> I'm, I put it like that. But um, in a sense of porn, I should say he's extremely pro porn and some weird type of porn. Um, so like um, in that aspect, when you grow as a person, you may have to for a lot of people, you don't want to feel too out. But um. If they're, if they're just trying to show you porn or show you stuff like that, even the porn audio, um, you, you have to get away from those people. You may have to get away from those people and, and not associate with them if they're going to get into doing that because it's not true to what you believe in. It's not true to your health. So, um, yeah, he definitely right. Oh, That's going to be the, this chair. This chair is broke, by the way. Um, I just fell off. You guys seen that firsthand. This is <laughs> this is a funny video so far. Um. Um, but yeah, um, it, it's definitely not being true. If you tell your friends, listen, I'm doing this because I think it's healthy for me, and they and they trying to show you porn or whatnot, and you really and you serious too, you got you might have to get rid of them. Um, my guy John Anderson, Merry Christmas card again. Today I had my first wet dream in this trick. I had, I just it felt just like a relapse, but the fog blew away after a couple of hours. First, I didn't get why I don't get why people try to prevent wet dreams. But now I know I came so hard after that. I came so hard, and after that, after I had the dream, I was having sex with a girl that I knew. But now I feel like I just want to bust again because I, it felt like PMO was within the PM and the guilt. But don't worry, for thirty three days, you you know how to control yourself. It was almost like a Christmas present, but I don't see why people why, why do people try to prevent wet dreams from happening. Well, first of all, you can't you can't even you can't even help if that happens anyway. So I don't I don't get it either. You can't help it if it happens. You wake up and your pants are soiled and filled with, and filled with semen, as just tablet almost fell. And you look to your left and your right and you don't see any young ladies or young men next to you. Obviously, you know it's, it was a wet dream. And of course, you didn't do it consciously because you were asleep. So. You didn't relapse, you know. You just released naturally. That does not count. Well, just no fat. No fat is not masturbating. If you bust a nut in your sleep, you not. You didn't masturbate. You didn't fat. You didn't edge. You didn't do anything. You didn't look at porn. You just had a wet dream, which is not a relapse. So just get through your head, you guys. It, it, people who think they're done wet dreams and relapse, they're not. But thanks to John Anderson for your comment. Please love your comments as well. Um, I, a new comment of Jacob Zanka. After a while, you get complacent with what you've done. 42. Camera was going low. I, um, 42 days is a huge compliment, but I didn't respect my hard work enough. I got bored, and the boredom became a craving itself. Don't get me wrong. If you keep yourself in check, the latter parts of the challenge are very easy. But the reason so many, so many people fail in the home stretch is because they lack motivation that they need to keep going with no fat becomes unimportant. People think that they have to, they had a challenge in the back and they're failing because of it. Um, that's definitely true. I can see why people get complacent because you feel so comfortable and you knocked all these hard urges out the way, so you just get cool and calm. Then you get hit with another urge when you think there is some more urges. Then you just like, what's going on? And you're relapsing. 
But I guess it is all about focus. Now, of course, you can't have your whole your whole life again. It can't be about no fat, but again, you have to have focus. You know. I thank you for your comment as well. Uh, three hundred sixty-five days of no fat. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, bro. Uh, keep going. Danger XD. If you manage ninety days, it's better to continue forever. After those ninety days, you'll come. You'll be back in the habit. In that habit. Um. That's definitely true. Um. I, I, I guess the final line, I guess you were referring to what I said. Like, once, if you get 90 days, should you fat or not? Of course, without porn, but should you fat maybe once a week or twice a week without porn? But like I said, it's gonna be, it can be dangerous because once you fat, you, know, you don't know if, you can, if you're just going to fall down that long slope and just become back to your regular self. And now you're just fapping every day into porn. You don't, I mean, you don't know that. What, what happens if you just don't have any urges anymore? But it's meant you do bust that number by fapping the porn or just fapping at, in general. All of a sudden, all these urges come rushing back in. Now you're back to where you were. Even though it's highly unlikely, but what, but what if? So if you get 90 days and you're feeling pretty good, don't 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 even try it. Just keep on doing. Just keep on going. But who knows? It may. I mean, I'm not, I'm not downplaying that. If you get 90 days and you quit porn, you eat fat once a week. Hey, but um, most of us I think are trying to quit it forever because there's really no point of fapping to any. So like me myself, I think I find it fat. I find it boring to fat without any um sort of visual stimuli. Uh, new comment there, Air Money 95. Let's both try to get the whole 2016 without fapping. Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. Nightshade, whenever you relapse so much on this journey, the benefits don't start coming. Whenever you relapse so much on this journey, the benefits don't start coming back quick as quickly anymore. I definitely know that. Once you relapse, but when you get when you get a day 10, the first time you get a day 10, you feel so powerful, you feel so confident. But after a year and a half doing the fap, when you get back to day 10, it's not powerful anymore. You have to get you have to go longer than that. But um, it's all about it's all about the learning curve. Um, we have Islam Muslim. The people who invite you to do fifty things like watch porn are not real friends. There are obstacles in your way. Be warned about them. I definitely appreciate that. Like I, just like I um talked about earlier, um, like I said, some people some people come you know in your life and, and maybe whoever you believe in you know, um um. You you can't be sent. You you could be, even friends or family. You you can be sent people to distract you from what you want. You know, you you want to do no fat, then you get a good streak going. And then guess what? Some um some chick you you, you barely know, um maybe maybe a little freaky. She starts showing you porn or whatever. You start getting the urges. You as soon as you fat, she's gone. You never see her again. I heard about something like this. So I heard about like some dude um had a girl, like um. I guess showing porn or something like that, and um, he fapped. No, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm probably imagining. I think I just made it up. But no, um, yeah, you get the whole point. Like somebody shows you porn, a friend shows you porn or whatever. You get an urge later on that night or the next day. You fap. You never see a person for a while. It's just like for a while. Now you back low to where you were before. Just don't, just don't, even, just don't even do it. Don't if friends trying to get you to fap. Don't, don't listen to them, y'all. Just don't even listen to them. And then Tony, 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 Tony again. A last comment. Oh, bro, bro, the look on the customer's face behind you. Yeah, bro, they they be they be staying hard. They be staying pretty hard. And then my guy Indigo TV. I had a dream with Angela Jolie. And then the gorgeous way had his heart, man. Felt too real when I started kissing Angela. Though, I wish I had a real dream about Ariana Grande because she can be. She, I can wake up next to her and kissing her all night long. Um, we probably gonna edit that part out, but um, no. <laughs> but no, um, I remember back like middle. School, in elementary school, I had a dream that um I kissed this girl that I I had not I liked it a little bit, and um I think it's not kindergarten I think it's like fourth grade and um, I was in my babysitter's house it's like night like early morning like two three in the morning I had like a dream that that like it, it was like a quick a quick pet kiss it felt so real y'all this is probably probably the the realest dream I ever felt like uh, I ever felt like as far as like you know dreaming about a girl is concerned like it felt so real. And then, I, then I woke up. I was not, and I woke up. I thought to myself, "That felt really good. That felt so real." I was like, "That felt real." And she must be. She must be next to me somewhere. And I try to go back to sleep. And I try to drink, uh, dream about it again. Guess what? Couldn't get that. And I never got a dream like that again. About I never had a dream like that again about me kissing a girl like that, and it felt real. Never happened again. But that's probably where my fantasy I just started from. You know. Cause I remember from after that I tried to go back to see and try to fantasize about you know it happening again, but it, it didn't feel the same. So that's probably where my fantasizing started from. But 
Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I see you guys tomorrow for day 11. And as always, you guys don't relapse.